Hello and welcome back everybody. My name is Dark Sage Walker and we, today we've got a build recommendation from Mercurius again. This one is supposed to be designed to be sort of a kind of kind of all-purpose melee damage build. So there's a good chance that I might not do very well, but hey, I'm going to do my best to make it work. With the help of the rule robe cushion flip-flops and a couple of things to make things to make things a little bit easier we're going to start with the ice dagger and this is going to be a mission rush and this is going to be cars prime as soon as i can find it there it is and then our signature is actually going to be chaotic buster so i guess it's not 100 percent pure melee but, in my opinion, that's absolutely fine. Because there is nothing stating that you can only yet, you can only use melee arcana if you're going to use arcana. Doubles the number of enemies and lowers their health. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not, not feeling that one. So, here I go. I also don't exactly feel the need to change where to, to like to dictate where I start, because this is a pretty balanced run, and with one of your higher damage spells being a chaos spell, that's going to be helpful. Now, I would, first of all, like the game to load, but I would secondly like to get a, a good electric arcana to face off against Freya with. So am I going to do Super Sura with this build? I'm thinking no. Well, I mean, immediately the game gives me an electric arcana, but it's not exactly the one I, the one I wanted. Because I'm not planning on changing my basic. I like my basic. Now, because you get so much movement when you're using the ice daggers, it's actually pretty, huh, a pretty nice way to use Cardus Prime. Sweet, that was completely meaningless. There we go. Nice. Now, even though I like Magma Rush better, I am going to stick with the Ignition Drive. Now, normally, I end up using Cardus Prime as sort of like a... I can add on to Tearing Whirlwind, which, yeah, that's one way you can do it, but I am kind of digging this way of using it, where you just put on the blades and then just rush into your opponents with the Ice Daggers. I actually really like that. I'm surprised it's something I haven't thought of myself yet. And to be fair, Cardus Prime is one that I is an Arcana that I have a, quite a bit of love and respect for. So. I don't know who you guys think you are. Now, Ignition Rush, not so much, but I am going to keep it because that is the... that is Mercurius' intention for the build, is to... is to really make good use of... of something more melee-focused. Also, I hate that room. Alright, what do we 
we at here? Well, I mean, you know what I have to immediately pick up. I'm going to rescue my little Sylvan friend, and we're going to go on an adventure together. Now, I am also looking at... Okay, so honestly, I probably should have picked that up first if I was going to buy it. Yeah, that, that was a mistake. I made an oops. Alright, this is this build also kind of capitalizes on high movement, so. I like what I like what I'm seeing here. Ooh, deferred dynamo. I'll definitely take that. Thanks, game. That's exactly what I wanted. Alright, well, that little snafu out of the way. Oh, that's right, I can throw Deferred Dynamo more than once. Apparently Cecil is just having a field day flying over my head and just screaming at me. It's alright. This is hangout time for him too. Oh, hold on, let's go grab some quick easy treasure. There we go. Oh, hello, Sonic Breaker. I have no qualms picking that up, but that is furry. Hey, are you okay? Also, for whatever reason, I'm thinking Deferred Dynamo is R, so let's switch it up. Cecil! What's up, buddy? You upset that I'm not paying much attention to you right now? Even though I'm literally yelling at you? It's okay, bird buddy. Everything is A-OK. -okay. something that'll work now. Rushing Typhoon. Hmm. Yeah, there's nothing there I want. Even though Grasping Earth is better now, it's still not great. But that having been said, any improvement is better than no improvement. It's just now, it's at least in my opinion, it's gone from being almost entirely unplayable to, eh, you could do worse. There we go. And so what kind of things are we looking for to improve this run? Well, we can use both the Cardus Prime and the yeah. Sorry, we could use both the Cardus Prime and the I keep 
using my train of thought. Artist Prime and Ice Dagger are upgrades. Those would both be helpful. Um, I could also stand to be practicing with Sonic Breakers, see if I like what I'm seeing or not. Although, considering what I was what I had found out about this Arcana, I kinda want to focus the entire episode on it. Cause that seems like it'll be a very powerful boy. And I would like to devote as much attention to it as I can. Now, I don't exactly want to get rid of Cardus Prime, because Cardus Prime and the Ice Dagger are working very well together. So let's not break up the family. And more than likely that is good he's, what he's going to demand, because that is the... That is the standard Arcana that I've had for the longest amount of time. Wait, give me that. Give me that. I don't know what it means by activate more quickly, but... Pretty much that. Okay. It's an odd... It's an odd wording to basically describe it has to basically describe that it has fewer activation frames and just comes in and each attack comes out faster, but, you know. I'm not exactly what one would call Mr. Super Genius when it comes to describing things myself. God, that does a lot of hits. Alright, so now at this point, what I would like to see is some more aggressive uh, a relics. Like, not, not super disappointed with what I have, just... You thinking, the, thinking that maybe getting some damage improvements would be a thing? Or should be a thing. I'm definitely liking Sonic Breaker. This is one of those spells that seems like it has multiple mo multiple active modes. Like you can hold it down to actually control them, or you can just press the button and send them off on their way. Either way, it seems like a great ranged option where if you have the time to control them, oh, it's so good. Like that, that I think is going to end up being a good top tier boy. Like I said, I am going to dedicate my dedicate a full episode to Sonic Breaker, so this isn't it. This isn't necessarily the spotlight. But yeah, I'm definitely liking what I'm seeing when it comes to Sonic Breakers. I guess I didn't need to do that, okay. Oh, 
Alright, we still have enemies here. Oh, up there. definitely take the Journal of Midas. That is Tattered Scroll, if I'm not mistaken. I'm pretty sure that would be a mistake to take with... Yeah, that would be a mistake to pick up with what I'm currently working with. Definitely take that, because that's going to increase healing. Okay, really need some more aggressive relics now. Hey, do you have more aggressive relics up here? I mean, not really. Like, actually, you don't have anything I want at all. All right, well, that's disappointing. Let's go upgrade our rope. record these episodes generally in the morning. <clears throat> this morning I was let's let's just say I was I was done. I had crashed super hard. So that wasn't happening. So this recording is being done after a night at work. So, partially explaining why I'm so quiet, for one, because I'm still kind of, you know, still, still kind of essentially pulling myself away from a day of work. Hello. I think we definitely want Thundering Chain. I do like Binary Splashdown, but, you know, the run doesn't necessarily call for it. I don't know, maybe I just want to keep what I have and save my money. I think that sounds like the smartest idea. I'm not even going to worry about finishing the rest of what the floor has to offer. Mostly because I have a hard time thinking of what it can offer me that would be worth a damn. Mistake, though, even though I did wait to do the recording until after work, still quite sleepy. And I guess that's just kind of a consequence of working a full-time job is that you can is that you are often sleepy. Oh, and they're gonna give me Aqua Beam. Yeah, they're gonna give me Aqua Beam. I mean, I let's I mean, let's not be let's not mince words. Crashing Meteor is now it, it, it was a niche it was niche and whatever before because it was basically just slow but super high damage. Now that it's like almost almost downright abusable in its upgraded state, I love it. But it's, to me, it's not 
it's not worth going against going up against Aqua Beam, especially considering that I've got Seal coming up later. But I might go back for it. I haven't 100% decided on that yet, and I am using the rule rope, which is the ideal time to have to have crash here, let's be fair. Looks like I got the big guy, I didn't even notice. And Dr. Song. Now, once again, I don't really want to give up Cardis Prime, because I do very much like the interaction between Cardis Prime and Ice Daggers. So it'd be nice if Iris were to, you know, for once, help me upgrade things. Which leads me to a question, actually, and this could very well be just a kind of a... just be a silly thing that I was thinking of, but is it possible that if you break her stuff looking for extra coins, that makes it less likely that she'll, you know, come up with stuff to help you out? Definitely taking this just to... Uh, just for the upgrade that it's going to make to the Ice Daggers and Cardus Prime, that, that's enough. Alright, so that's another relic that they decided to give a bit more importance by making it so that it restores your health completely when you pick it up. That's kind of nice, actually. Last time I tried to use that key, I got ruined. And ever since then, I've just decided, oh, if it's going to spawn 80 million enemies at the end, maybe I don't want to do that. Journal of Midas has given me plenty of money to play with, by the way. Oh, and I see the jewelry box up there. Hang on, we're gonna want that. Stop trying to hit me and hit me! I didn't think so. Nice. Ah, that's great. So that means Iris has to be over here. She apparently doesn't want to sell me anything useful. And that's not to say that I... that I hate Ignition Rush. I've just never really found a lot of use for it. Seriously? Okay, well, that's completely pointless. I don't want any of those. 
And don't get me wrong, I like erupting cannonade, but eh, not right now. We're gonna give it a shot. Which means I'm gonna have to play super careful against Freya, so don't expect me to go completely nuts. Because I have to... I have to make sure I don't take damage fighting her. just genuinely upset. That's not even fair. I also think it's a little unfair that I haven't gotten any kind of upgrade to Artist Prime or Ice Tag. Like, what is going on with that? I'm also wondering if maybe this run wouldn't work, wouldn't be working out a little bit better as a as an aw road run since everything seems to be kind of a kind of a light a lighter multi hit arcana even in even like even what was presented to me er, earlier on is definitely more of a more of a kind of lighter lighter hitting multiple hit arcana sort of thing. I don't know, that's just my thought. So, I mean, I'm also well aware that most of my thoughts are kind of, are kind of in the minority of, in the minorities there, so... I don't know, maybe this is the right way to go and, you know, everyone thinks that I'm being stupid for something, probably. about something. Um, oh, it does count as a movement arcana, so soccer cleats would definitely power that up. Oh, look, now she's willing to upgrade some of my stuff? Come on, woman. And that was really stupid of me. Hello, 
Hello, Storm Entourage. That's another new arcana that I haven't looked into much. Okay, so I can... So that's finally getting upgraded. Christ, that took a while. I also like to now verbally confirm there are some people in the Discord server who have beaten Super Sura. Like, I'm a little embarrassed that I'm not one of them, but I also don't have a lot of time to don't have a lot of time to play the game, unfortunately. So congratulations to those that have, and I will be happy to show how I do it when I get there. That of course is going to take time, so just wait on it. it wasn't so late into the run. Definitely have some more things I'd like to I'd like to use. Is I don't think that you are ever a bad pick, but I have so little time to build it up. Yeah, screw that. <laughs> And yes, I could go for a second loop, but I'm also in the middle of recovering some of my old, you know, some of my music from my old hard drive. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get much information out of it, so it's more like it's more like getting my it's more like getting backups from my of my music from a completely different hard drive, and it's just. And just figuring out what was lost so I can either go find it again or just write it off and just be like, you know what, next time. Next time we won't wait so long to try to fix the hard drive that's clearly having issues. So that's kind of a bummer. But, I suppose it's better than having to start from scratch on my collection. That would be the real mystery. Oh, oh, pardon me. At this point, we're starting to see my weakness with melee builds coming out, coming out front and center. The obvious idea is with this with this run is to just get in there with the uh, Cardus Prime and the daggers. And of course the ignition rush, but my brain is looking for different solutions to the problem because of how I've, how I've essentially trained myself. Also, I just thought of something. Oh, okay, so... So then it's still counting towards the pewter bracelet, but the jewelry box is allowing things to keep ticking up, which, by the way, fairy. Sprite bouquet! 
my little sylvan friends are here to help. I don't know about anything else. I like the idea of Jake's chopper locket, but you know, we'll we'll come back to it if if it seems like it's it would be good to take. It. See right there, it would have been smarter to turn on the locket, or not the locket, but to turn on Artist Prime. But instead, I was like, yeah, let me use, let me utilize the knockback from Aquamine. So, I mean, I've just been trained differently. Like, I know there's one of us on the Discord server that really likes that really likes status effect builds. And whereas I can understand, it's not for me. Though I am wondering if perhaps my idea of what constitutes a good build is completely in the minority of what everyone else thinks. Because I'm also, I've also stated before that I'm not a big fan of the arcana that have you jump straight up while you perform an attack and then come back to the ground in the same spot. Seems like I'm the only one who doesn't like them, so... I don't know, maybe the problem is me. Maybe that's why I'm the only one that has the Super yet. I should stress that Super Sura, not regular Sura. Also, I am liking how the how the ice daggers upgrade is now twin daggers. Oh, what? I didn't even see you there. Go away. I mean, I can definitely make the poem a fiery rhyme at this point. I'm just wondering if that would be a good idea, or if I should pick up, like, the Golden Saber of Envy. And considering what my only fire arcana is, I'm kind of leaning towards the Saber. I suppose the only reason why I'm thinking about that is because even though I am genuinely happy that other people have beaten Super Sura, I do admit to being just a little disappointed in myself for not having been able to do it yet. I don't know, maybe I shouldn't even be thinking about it since, you know, the big reason why I haven't been able to do it is because I do work a full-time job and I just haven't had time. Could, it could also be that that isn't an excuse. Or it could be that perhaps the, one, the way I'm trying to do things is iffy and ludicrous. Maybe I should just cheese it, but I don't really want to. I want to beat Sura. I want to beat Sura the way that the way that I've designed. 
I don't know, I think this is all just mental health problems reaching bubbling up to the surface and causing me no end of uh, no end of stress when I really should just be like, hey, how about you just play the damn game and enjoy it? Okay, I'm very much hating this. Curious about something. Okay, so if I had picked up the poem A Fiery Rhyme, that would have changed it from 15 to 20% for my ice based arcana, but. Eh. And there's tearing, tearing Whirlwind to go right along with Cardus Prime. And whereas I had mentioned it earlier, I think I'm going to stick with what I have. There you go. So as you can see, the upgrade to Cardus Prime now gives now gives the gives the spell more blades, and they're more durable. Also, I'm noticing now that the At least I think the Twin Daggers are actually doing, like, double move, doing, like, enhanced damage for there being more than one blade. I could be wrong about that. Like, the damage difference that I'm seeing could very well just be that I have a lot of damage upgrades. You know, between the robe and the saber and you and the poem, so... That could that could possibly be more so what it is. Mm. Not gonna lie, I'm not seeing anything here in the store that's really making me want to drop my change for it. you. Even when I'm trying to do a melee build, I still end up having more Missile Arcana than I know what to do with. Oh, I am in trouble. 
There we go. Alright, run complete. So don't take that as don't think don't take that as a bad thing. Like I'm not saying that I couldn't beat this run without some missile arcana. No, that's not the case at all. It's just how I was trained. I really prefer being able to strike at range. It's more or less how I taught myself how to play the game, and it's just the just more evidence that sometimes you... Okay, something just exploded for no reason. There's more evidence that sometimes you just, you just can't remove from someone what they're best at. Like, the solution to most of those cases was use Cardus Prime and let the enemies run into me, but I feel uncomfortable doing that. I want to I want to evade them and strike at range. Probably part of the reason why I like doing other people's builds is because I have to put myself in a different headspace and see what I can make work. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about what I was talking about earlier. I'm kind of having a kind of having those, you know, mental health problems and thoughts of inadequacy and maybe it's all for naught. I don't know, This maybe this isn't even the right time to talk about mental health, but anyway, thank you guys very much for watching, I definitely appreciate your support. Drop me a like, leave me a comment, subscribe to the channel, let me know what you think about everything that's going on. Um, throw in your two cents for what you want to hear talked about on Wizard of Metal, that's coming up in just a couple of days, and it doesn't matter what song I end up talking about, I'm going to be pumped, because I love talking about metal music. And I will catch you guys in the next one. My name is Dark Sage Walker, and I will be seeing you.